The seashore is really just the doorway to the ocean. We can stand on the edge of the unknown and imagine what lies on the other side. I used to think I knew. I loved water and the ocean, and I was comfortable swimming, surfing, or sailing. I viewed the ocean as a playground that I was familiar with. I knew how big and surly the waves could get, how strong the currents pulled, and how quickly the tides moved in and out. In retrospect, I only understood what I could see and feel. But I have learned. Bob Stenick showed us what's happening that we can't see. How rising ocean temperatures and increased ocean acidification are changing entire ecosystems. Um, this is a, a, a coralline called Clathromorphum, and what's cool about it is that this, is, this produces high magnesium calcite. It's very susceptible to ocean acidification, and it dominates subtidal zones. And so the question is, uh, is this going to be compromised as we look at a world with increasing acidity? Um, we don't know yet. I'm thinking a lot about ocean acidification and the fact that it's predicted that it will seriously affect the strength of these shells and these these simple beautiful little creatures as the pH of the ocean decreases many ocean animals can't harness enough calcium carbonate in order to make their hard outer shells This is just one issue Bob addressed. That is not to say the ocean doesn't face other issues. But if we can't see these issues and they don't really impact us drastically, why should we care? There are as many answers to this question as there are problems with the ocean. The one that I have discovered and come to value is the beauty. There is an incredibly beautiful life beneath the surface and it is active and worth preserving. Maybe that is a superficial reason, but it's a compelling one, and it's often overlooked. I had never seen barnacles extend their feathery appendages outside their shell to feed before. The way they wave their limbs is completely hypnotic and follows some unknown beat. Even more fascinating is the way this rhythm can be silenced with a change in the lighting. Small beautiful actions I never would have seen before. is another creature I was previously unimpressed with.
However, on closer examination, it's incredible to watch them slowly move across the tide pools. It is a slow motion drama to see them climb over and devour barnacles. value and protect the ocean because there's beauty in it which we may not understand or see. As Rachel Carson says in The Sea Around Us, this world is a water world, a planet dominated by its covering mantle of ocean in which the continents are but transient intrusions of land above the surface of the all-encircling sea.